Willie McCovey was baptized a ball player on the sand lots of Mobile, Alabama, where he was born. He left the pre-civil rights deep south and became a disciple of Jackie Robinson. Jackie was the reason that I uh, played baseball, really. Uh, Jackie gave us hope that there was something else beyond, you know, Mobile and Sandlot baseball. Known affectionately as Stretch because of his towering six-foot-four frame, McCovey was signed by the Giants in 1955. He played 19 of his 22 seasons in San Francisco, often in the shadow of another giant, Willie Mays. From day one in San Francisco, I was liked and adopted, and that's something Mays didn't have when he first went out there. After going four for four in his debut, McCovey launched a career that included 521 home runs. Upon his retirement in 1980, he claimed the most homers ever by a National League left-handed hitter. That record stood for 21 years until it was broken by another giant, Barry Bonds. In the heart of baseball's second dead ball era, and long before the steroid era, McCovey was arguably the game's most fearsome hitter. I got the bat taken out of my hands a lot. Who's to say I wouldn't have hit a few had they pitched to me? He was a Rookie of the Year in 1959 and an MVP 10 years later. Yet he entered Cooperstown without a World Series championship, having come so tantalizingly close in 1962 against the Yankees. Here's the pitch to Willie. Here's a line. Today, McCovey Cove in San Francisco stands as an enduring legacy where home runs splash down beyond the right field wall. McCovey Cove, out of here! How fitting that it takes a majestic blast to reach the place named in honor of the man called Stretch.